Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to make some page toppers for the embellishment kits I'm putting together. And I thought I would um, make some with you. I got out my Angel Dream Craft goodies and I cut these three and a half scalloped circles out of some shabby paper I had in my stash. And I am gonna use these as my base for my page topper. So I'm just gonna fold it in half and stick a paper clip on it. So that way it's ready to slip onto the top of a page. And I wanna go ahead and cover the paper clip. So I have these little um, leaves off of this little uh, trim that I found in my drawer today. And I'm just gonna wrap it around just to cover that up so I got my finger protectors out so I don't hurt myself hopefully <laughs> I'm just gonna glue that on there and then glue it over the other side you're not really gonna see it but I'd rather have that than you seeing the paper clip <laughs> okay there we go so what I want to do, I think, is uh, use some netting to kind of bunch up over the top. I like, you know how I like to do that. So I think I'm gonna start there. And cut some of that off. I need something soft to lay down my scissors on because I, I lay them down so hard and I know when I watch these videos back, it's just such an awful sound. So my apologies. I'm going to try to work on that. Drop my glue gun. Okay. So, I'm just going to add some glue. And then I'm going to lay this on there. And I'm going to bunch it up. Yeah. Because I just want there to be some fluff. Love the fluff. All right, now let me see what I want to do here. Okay, I want to use this trim from Angel Dream Crafts, this lovely trim, and I'm gonna cut off one of these flowers. There we go. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna go right there. I'm sorry, everything's upside down. I know. I my apologies. I really I really need to figure that out. But look at this beautiful lace that I found in my drawer this morning. It's just gorgeous. And I kind of want to layer that on top of that. Mm, I love that already. Okay, so let me do that. Get this glued down on top of all the fluff I made here. There we go. Try to push down some of that fluff. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue these parts down too. Yes. All right. And then I will put this pretty lace on top. I love that. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I just love that laying on top of that. I just think that is so cute. And so now I am going to snippity snip into this beautiful trim from Kim's store that I am absolutely, absolutely in love with. All right, let me get my paper clips out of the way and figure out what things I want to snippety snip. I need like some leaves because I want to put a flower and I need some of these coming off from behind the flower. So it's going to be 
kind of like that. Okay, and I need one for the other side. You know, these are really um, easy uh, to do and they come together so quickly. It's such a fun little project. And who doesn't love a cute page topper? I mean, you could also use it as a bag topper. Also cute. Or a tag topper. Really, they're just adorable. Okay, so I think I want to put this one on that side. This one's a little long. Okay, I need one going the other direction, please. That is that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe this guy. Snippity snip. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna glue those on. I'm gonna save that for something else. Let's get these on. Oh, I love this trim from Kim Shop. And of course, you can find a link to Kim Shop below to go get yourself some of these amazing goodies. And you can also find a link to all the other designers on the team who are amazing and always making the coolest stuff. Right, okay, so now I wanna use one of these big fat pink. I gotta add in the pink. I, the background's a little pink and all the other embellishments I'm making have a little bit of pink, but I don't wanna over pink. So we're just doing little touches. Of pink on these embellishments. Okay, that is so cute. Now, I should have done the back before I put that big lumpy flower on, but that's okay. I want to keep the back simple. I'm just going to cut off one of the bigger flowers off of this gorgeous applique or trim. It's not an applique, it's a whole, it's a whole bunch of beautiful stuff things to snip it okay and I think for the back I am just gonna cover the clip with one of these flowers so that's what you'll see on one page and then this is what you'll see on the other page actually I want to Add some blue and kind of, I don't want that hanging down so far. I should get it, I should get it up there. There we go. All right, and I thought it would be really cute to hang something off of here, but not something major, just something sweet. So I've got these white bulb pins from Kim's shop and I put on a pink, it's the palest, palest pink Swarovski crystal. It's so cute, and I thought, I'm just gonna hang that one thing um, off of here, and I just think it's gonna be so sweet. The question is, is all that glue in my way? I really want it to go right here. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, maybe you can't. All right, there it is. Let me pull. <laughs> right. Okay. Struggle is real. Okay, I think I got it this time. I mean, it would also be cute if I maybe tied a little tool to the pin. And I'm not saying that I might not do that because that would be cute. But I just think that's adorable. Right? And just with that little hint of Swarovski pink there. So cute. So this is the one I made before I started my video, my practice. And I put it on top of this lovely um, dyed piece of paper I actually got from Marie. It smells like coffee. It's amazing. But there it is on the top of the page. Isn't that sweet? It's just 
a little sweet topper. It's so cute. So I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.